Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we shall show how to plot several lines or curves in a single graph using new plot. So, I have three files here, all are generated using optic in Win2K. So, they contain refractive index and extinction coefficient. Let me show you the files first. So, this is for the chromium boride and uh, you, as you can see in the first column this is energy, second and third column are refractive indices, fourth and fifth column are extinction coefficient. This is similar for nickel oxide and titanium carbide also. I would like to plot the refractive indices that is the second column from all three files in a single graph so that I can compare their properties. To do so, I will use new plot. So, let me type new plot then press enter. So, I am in the new plot environment now. Now, to plot, I will need to type this plot. Now, the file name. So, let me choose this one first. And I want to use the first and second column with line. So, this column the the first column is goes to the x axis that is as one is typed here and the, as i type 2 the second column that is this column goes to the y axis let me include the other file so let me include this one you can include the third one also so this is the uh, output as you can see the two lines and is the file names are also shown here. Now I want to make the life easy that's why I wrote a script. So if you go to the my Win2K tutorial site the link of the site will be given in the description. So if you go to the script section you will find a script to, to, to plot lines uh, in a single graph. You can download the script and run the script. I will show you how to run the script. If you need to review how to use external script, you can uh, watch this video where I have explained how to use external script. So, I saved the script in this Win2K folder, but I am in the Optic folder. So, to use the script, first let me quit from the Win a new plot environment. Now, since the script is in this folder I need to type this one. So, the script name is plot underscore carbs together. So, now this is this asks me how many lines or curves I like to plot. Let me choose three as I have shown you I have only three files, but you can uh, plot uh, several uh, columns from the same file also. So, if you have if you have a file like this one uh, you have four or five columns you want to plot from the same file all these columns so you choose that number here so i am choosing three because i want the first and second column from all three files now here it gives the file available file names and with the number uh, leveled here so here I need to enter the file name or I can enter the number also. So this one, uh, this one is here because it is it is the for the fast curve. So let me choose one here. Now it prints the uh, first ten lines of the of this file as it shows here. The selected file is this one because I typed one. So, that I can choose from here which are the columns I like to plot. The first column it goes to the x axis by default. So, I have to choose from the rest of the columns. Let me choose the column number 2 and it asks for a title. Since I am plotting from for the uh, chromium boride, let me type that one. Now, it asks for the second file. I will use this one. So, I type 2. Now, it shows the selected file and the, the same again I want the second column. So, the title would be nickel oxide. 
Now it asks me for the uh, file name again because I choose at the beginning three. So let me uh, type this time the file name. It is same. So you can see this file has been selected and uh, on the second column again. And this time the title is titanium carbide. So now it has generated the plot. So as you can see, this is uh, showing the names of the compound and the plots are here. So this is the plot generated by the script. Now if you go to the script, it asks me whether I want to save the graph or not. So I want to save the graph. So I will press, I will type 1. If you don't want to save the graph, you just want to see how it looks like, you may type no. Now it asks me for the, uh, for a name. So in which name the file will be saved. So this is uh, as uh, for the refractive index. Let me type ref index. And I suggest that you do not give any space here. Just uh, type the names or if you need a uh, space, uh, type underscore. You don't need to put the extension. The extension will be chosen automatically. So now the title of the plot. So if you uh, give a title, the title will be shown here at the top of this uh, curve. So uh, if you don't want to put any title, just press enter. Uh, I don't want any title, so I'll press enter now. So this is asked for the X level that will be shown here. So the X level is energy, so I'll write that. The unit is EV as you can see from the new plot. Uh, sorry, from the files. Now it asks for the Y level, which will be shown here in this side. So this is refractive index. Now it asks me whether I like to customize the X range. So this is the default X range. If I want to customize, I need to uh, press Y. So let me do so. If you don't want, just press enter. So the minimum value, let me choose the minimum value to be zero. Okay, the maximum value, yeah, let me choose 12. Okay, what about the Y range? I, I think this is okay, I don't need to set any customized range. So I'll just press enter. Now this is the plot has been generated. So you can see, this is the X level energy, this is the Y level and the x axis is 0 to 12 as I have chosen and the y level are as default. Now uh, if you see the uh, output it says the three files has been generated. This is the in EPS format, this is the uh, PNG format that we have just seen and this is the script, uh, the new plot script that is used uh, to generate these two plots. Actually when I run this script, uh, the this one, this generated this script uh, depending on my uh, inputs, then run the script to plot or to generate these two files. So let me show you the EPS, uh, the one. So this is the EPS file as you can see and uh, to, this is uh, good to include in any a project or any uh, report because the PNG file usually if you zoom in it blurs out but it is doesn't happen here. Okay now if you want to make any change you can do so editing uh, this file. So let me use that. Now here say I uh, as you have seen okay. share that again as you have seen here these are the line thickness. Say I want to increase the line thickness and I also want to set a uh, Y range. So in that case you can edit this file. So if you want to increase the line thickness you can change this value. Let me choose this one 5. This is for the line 1. So this, if you change this one it goes to the line 2 as you can see here. Let me just edit the line 1 so that I can show you the differences. You can also choose the colors. These are the default colors set by the script. But if you uh, want to change the colors, you change these values that will change the color also. And let me choose a Y range. 
So, this is 0 to 8 something. Let me make it 0 to 9. So, now I will save this file. Remember, you have to save this file, otherwise, it will not work. So, now if I want to run this, I will use new plot, then the script name. So, you can see now this script uh, generated the files, it has overwritten the other previous files. So, now the thickness of the first line has been increased. Also, the y range is 0 to 9. So, this is how you can actually uh, plot several lines in a single graph and save the graphs both in PNG and EPS format. And if you further want to customize, you can uh, edit the script and plot again. I hope this will be helpful. Thank you.